Hey guys, how's it going? Today, let's take a closer look at the 2010 Nissan GTR. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the GTR. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Lamborghini Carolinas in Greensboro, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's get started up, let it run. This vehicle does come equipped with a smart key access system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket and locating the little black button on the side of the door handle, you're able to unlock and lock the vehicle. Locking, then after waiting a second, hit the button again, and there you go. It's got a black exterior with two-tone black and light gray leather and Alcantara interior. It also has push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start. It's got a perforated leather wrapped steering wheel with modest side bolster and extensions, tight steering. The only transmission option for the GTR is a six speed automated manual transmission. You have the option of putting it in automatic mode or in manual mode by the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. They're also padded. And let's go ahead and go on the headlights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? The car will chime a few times, letting you know that it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. High intensity discharge headlamps. Aggressive front end and lower air intakes. Your hood vents are in a color contrasting metallic silver finish, as well as the center cowl down below. You have 20 inch painted alloy wheels with vented disc brakes, Brembo brake calipers, the Nissan logo, as well as Bridgestone performance tires. hood, side the vents, large rear spoiler, and you also have LED tail lamps. Quad polished aluminum exhaust tips. And the 
spoiler has an integrated third brake light. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. The GTR comes with a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V6, dual overhead cam, 24 valve with variable valve timing, produces a total horsepower rating of 485 at 6400 RPM, and a whopping 434 foot pounds of torque at only 3200 RPM. It is all wheel drive with a mechanical center differential and a center and rear limited slip differential. 19.5 gallon fuel tank with an EPA estimated mileage per gallon rating on premium unleaded gas of 15 city, 21 highway. Nissan claims that the GTR will reach 60 in about 3.6 seconds. Quarter mile time around 11.6 seconds at 118.9 miles per hour. See the tubes connecting the vent from the hood. It's a beautifully designed interior. Plenty of padded material as well as stitched leather. As you can see on the door panel here, as well as the armrest. Carpeted down below. Storage pocket. And also your power windows, power locks, power mirrors are located up on the dash. There are also power folding for both sides. And you have plenty of aluminum bright work across the doors as well as the center console. Fully powered, eight-way adjustable, leather and Alcantara driver's seat with full perforations. As well as side airbags. All of your power seat controls are controlled by this dial here. Twist it forward and back to adjust the recline of the seat. Forward and back for sliding and raising and lowering the bottom cushion, this button up here. You also have two stage heated seats for the driver and passenger seat and you can also see your leather stitching across the dash and speedometer cluster. Logo GTR floor mats, aluminum sport pedals, as well as a telescoping tilting steering wheel. And let's go and see how she sounds. Does have a rev limiter around 4,500 to 5,000 RPM. So let's go ahead and shut her up. In the GTR, you have a dual zone automatic climate control. It also shows up on your navigation unit. Fan speed. One touch automatic mode, front defrost, rear defrost, vent, your different zones. As well as recycling and AC. This GTR also comes with an 11 speaker Bose sound system with two rear seat mounted subwoofers.
Nissan glass container. And an auto dimming rear view mirror with embedded garage home link down below. Along with the GTR's all wheel drive system, you also have electronically controlled suspension as well as dampeners. Tipping the buttons up to the R will provide the maximum performance. You can set it down to comfort, depending on your mood of sport, as well as your traction and or launch control. One of the more unique features about the GTR itself is its integrated driver information system. It offers 11 different screens of vehicle information. The system was developed alongside Polyphony Digital, which created the Gran Turismo game series for game consoles. Let's walk through the various screens. Boost pressure. Oil temperature, transmission temperature, fuel flow, range digital speedometer, braking and acceleration, temperature meters, acceleration, braking, steering, different gear positions, fuel economy, as well as a stopwatch. You can also put in customizable driver's notes. The whole navigation system is controlled through the screen and this little wheel and enter button over here. Hit status, that'll bring up your radio as well as climate data, day night mode, back, navigation. It's a 30 gigabyte hard drive system and about nine and a half gigabytes are dedicated to storing MP3 music files, sort of like an integrated iPod. Route, destination, using the wheel to turn around. Vehicle information, fuel economy, tire pressure, maintenance. You can also get real-time traffic updates through XM. System settings, customizable options, hands-free Bluetooth telephone. You also have an integrated voice command system. Please say a command from displayed list, or say help to show all commands. Help. Showing command list. Please use manual controls to continue. Various navigation, audio commands. So I'll go ahead and give it a try. Please say a command from displayed list, or say help to show all commands. Dial number. No phone available. Please say a command from displayed list, or say help to show all commands. Places. Destination nearby places. Please say a number from the displayed list. One. One. Please say a number from the displayed list. Three. Calculating route to destination. Three. Simple as that. Starting route guidance to your destination in about four tenths of a mile. Exit on your right, then right turn. CD player located down below as well as a memory card input. Tune settings. Standard XM satellite radio. As well as CD auxiliary input, iPod input located in the glove box and your preset stations. Driver information system located in the center of the RPM gauge. Digital speedometer. And you also have your radio controls, cruise control, hands-free phone controls, as I showed you your voice command on the steering wheel. Display brightness, cup holders, stitch center console, the power outlet. All right, let's go ahead and shut it down.
and we'll check out the back seat. There is a manual override on each of the seats. Fold it forward. Two plus two seating, leather bucket seats. They are rather small with the front seats folded back. Do you have an integrated cup holder? Your two subwoofers. Headroom can also be quite a bit limited. Power button here to slide the seat forward. Integrated coat hooks. And we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Has about 8.8 .8 cubic feet of cargo space. Nicely sized deep well. Does have tall load height. Place to put your fuel cap. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat, aside from the tilt of the bottom cushion. You also have a leather stitch dash on this side. Your integrated iPod cable. Absolutely beautiful sports car. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2010 Nissan GTR. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.